Greetings, friend. I'm going to show you where I got stuck in this puzzle from the Sudoku Grand Prix and how you can avoid the same fate. You probably will not spot the strategy you need unless you watch this video. Click below if you want to give it a go. With that, it's solving time. The first thing, uh, you know, when I saw this before, I kind of remember seeing the nines here and solving this for a nine. And then you got these sevens in rows one and two, so there's going to be one place for seven there. And I was, I was kind of riding a high. I actually had solved the third puzzle in about seven minutes, so I was doing great on time. Uh, and after doing that, moved on here for, I noticed the sixes are a pointing pair right here in block two, because the six cuts across row one, so the sixes are limited in these two spots. Doing a little scenario notation, you know, anytime a three by three block, you only have two possibilities for can't mark them in case you saw one so you can solve the other one right away which means the sixes are now limited to one of these two spots here in block one but it's the same two spots where a nine would be limited as well because you have the nines right here and this is a two spots for nine right there and then the ninth have to be somewhere in rows one and two so the only places left for nines in row three is right here in block one so this is a nice hidden pair six nine you do need to find that hidden pair uh there's a couple of these strategies like this that you've got to put on top of each other in order to not be stuck in this puzzle and then there's another hidden pair it's a little bit harder to find but it's up here in block one what you have to do is you look right here and you go what can these two cells be and i should say it's actually a naked pair so it can't be one, can't be a three, four, and it can't be a six because of these sixes, seven, eight, or nine because of these nines. So these two cells can only be a two or a five. And so that's a two or five naked pair. And that's also important for you to find. You need to see that in this puzzle. And what this gives us here is now a one, three, and a four. So one, three, four. Get rid of the one there. Get rid of the three there. Okay, so you kind of notice all that. And if you're just not familiar with, with these little naked hidden pairs I'm talking about, uh, I cover all that in my Sudoku solving guide. So if you want to get better at solving Sudokus like these in competition or like the New York Times hard, click on the pinned comment below. So then the next thing you need to see is you go over here and you have this three, four, five uh, naked triple, but the fives are now limited in there. So that is going to be uh, the fives are claiming pair. So now you can't have the fives up in any of these spots, right? Because they're limited somewhere here in row three. It's got to be in block three. And it was about this point where I got pretty hard stuck. You know, it, we haven't even gotten that far in the puzzle. And it's like, what is going on? I can't solve anything else. I mean, I can see the sixes. You know, this is a pointing pair of sixes. Okay, that that's something. And then the same thing with these two nines. I got a pointing pair of nines. Okay, that's something there too, but nothing was really standing out to me. You know, I got a pointing, I got a two fives here in block nine. I couldn't do anything with this. And I, I kind of froze and I spent several minutes trying to figure out what to do with this puzzle. And I didn't want to mark everything because there's too many cannons to mark here. What I needed to find out, and that's what I'm about to show you here, is I needed to find a very particular naked pair. Actually, it's going to be more of a hidden pair. Hidden pair being there's two possibilities, uh, same two cans are in the same two cells along a house, so a row, column, or block. And where you have to look is here in column nine. And I didn't see this till after. I ended up not finishing this puzzle, and I went on to the next one. And I saw puzzle five, but I was a little sad and a little freaked out because I knew I wasn't going to be able to get at least eight puzzles solved like I did before because I spent so much time when I didn't find it. So this is what you do when you get stuck. One, you set a time limit. Two, don't panic. Just try to look for something that makes sense. Three, just move on. If you get to the time limit, move on, solve another puzzle, maybe come back to it later if you have time. It's kind of like, you know, you're working on SAT or ACT uh, test and, and you get stuck on one particular problem. Don't let that ruin the rest of the problems. Okay, what you want to see is that this one and two are very powerful because they can't be in any of these three spots. They can't be here because of this one and two, and then they can't be here because of this one and two. So there's only two places where a one and two can be in column nine, and it's right there. So we're going to mark that. So that's your hidden pair. 
All right, one and two, nothing else there. And that is what's going to open up this puzzle because now you got this four cutting down and the four cutting across makes a four as a pointing pair. And so now the four is a pointing pair with this four, and you got this four in column three. We can actually solve for a four right there. That's helpful because now you got a one here, you got a three here, and you got your four up there. Okay, and now we can get rid of these threes. And with these ones, we're going to be able to solve some ones. This one, one, and this one means that has to be a one. And now this is going to be your two, and that's going to be your one. So that is the key thing you needed to find out. And it reminds you of another puzzle where you had to look at the columns to see these kind of restrictions that are playing with some of these givens. And so I'm going to put a link to that. And you want to check that out because it's really cool in the way that it makes the puzzle work. And while you're at it, subscribe to our hobbies and you will solve these competitive Sudokus and get less stuck, I promise. Okay, after putting in those ones, you got this one right here, and this is gonna be a one. And now we can look and go, uh, can't solve any more of the ones yet, but now we put this two in, that's gotta be your five, and that's gotta be your two, nice. So you look down here, now we got this two and this two, and you see now you place the four. Now we can actually solve for two here. We can solve for two there. And with these twos and these twos, you can solve for two up here in block five. And we're starting to see and make some progress. Okay, what do we need here? It looks like we need a five and the eight. Well, I got my five right there. So here's your five. And then there's your eight. And with these two eights, we know we can solve this cell four and eight. Okay. And then... We're going to look, and what do we need here? We've got three, a seven, and a nine. I uh, can't solve any of those yet. But it looks like we could solve for the eight right here because of this eight coming down, right? And so now you got, it looks like a the six can't be any of these two spots. So we can actually solve this cell now for your six, and that's going to be your nine. And we should be able to finish up here because we know we have a naked triple, right? We have a one, we have a six, and a seven here. This is a naked triple. So whatever's left, which would be the three, has to be right there. And that makes sense for us. And now what do we have? It looks like we are missing a nine, which is right here. And then we're missing a seven. So you can mark those. Awesome. And then we're going to now see that we have these two ones and this one. We can actually solve for the one there and solve for the one right there. And so this is going to be now your six and your seven. I'll just make those marks so that we will come back to them and not forget about them. I got this four five right here. So this has got to be a three nine. I got my three here. So this is your three, that's your nine. We can displace those Snyder marks pretty easily now. And if you're looking across, what do we need in this? We need, it looks like a four and a six. So I got my four right there. So I know that's your four and then that's your six. Awesome. Okay, what else can we solve? These twos and these twos means this has to be a two right there. I see the fives and looks like we're missing a three. We just solved that three. So here's your three and here's your five. Try to do the clumping and try to do two, you know, solve at a time. If you can, it'll make it a lot quicker on your solving. And this is kind of neat because you have, you have a lock candidates right here. Like this has to be a naked triple and it fits not only in this row, but also in the block. These has to be the same three candidates, right? So we know we can solve that cell no matter what. So what are these three? It's going to be a three, six, and seven. So we have three, six, seven. You know, that has to be a nine. Of course, the easiest way to look at it is go nine, nine, only one place left for a nine right there. All right. And with this three, six, seven, I do have a six and seven right there. So that's going to be my three. I'll make my placeholder for my six, seven. Um, you know, after I came back and saw, I was like, okay, this was a pretty tough puzzle. And it's actually rated a little higher than the previous Puzzle 3 that had the X-Wing in it because of all these uh, pairs and triples that you had to find. Uh, so Hadoku rated it a little bit tougher than the one with the X-Wing. So that's kind of crazy. All right, looks in the 4. Like an 8 and a 9 right there. I don't have the 8 and 9 just yet. Uh, what do we need? 5, 8, 9. Yeah, I can't solve it. So I don't want to spend too much time on that spot of this puzzle. What do you need right here? It looks like a 4, 6, 7. So I got the 6. In the seven there and eh, i can't solve that so you kind of get near the spot where he's like i don't want to 
put too many marks in here, but I do want to solve the rest of the puzzle. So how is this going to work for us? And I guess the way it works is if I noticed that was a nine right there, then we can get this eight and nine knocked out pretty quick. Awesome. And so what we're looking for up here is a five and an eight. I got my eight. So here's your eight, and here is your five. Awesome. Okay, looking good. Eights, these two eights, means this cell has to be an eight. And you just want to keep chiseling away, right? You want to keep looking, go, okay, where do I have my limitations? Where can I make my solves? All right, so what are we looking for here? It looks like we need a six and a seven. Don't have the six and seven just yet. And here it looks like we need a four, five, six. So that'd be a four, six. That'd be a five, six, four, five. That's not where it's at. And here we need, it looks like a three, four, five, seven. Okay, three, four, five, seven. We have the fours there. Three, five. So this is a four, seven. That's a four or five. That's not the place you want to look. Okay, next place to look. Let's look in here. We got these fours. Got this four. So this has to be a four. So it's putting some limitation now in column four here. So it looks like we need a five, six, seven. I got my five. So there's your five. Awesome. And now with this five and these two fives, we can solve for five right there. Just place that Snyder six. And now we know we can come down and solve this for a seven with this five we got the four and the five i love gobbling up those bvcs and then we need a three and a seven right here don't have the three and a seven but i know with this four i can solve for a four here which is going to give us our six okay what are we looking for to kind of finish this out looks like three and a seven there and right here we need six or seven Okay, so that's a six or seven. So this is going to be a naked pair, six or seven. So what's left now? We would need two, a three, excuse me, and a nine. So can we solve that way? Yep, with this nine, that's going to be your three, and that's going to be your nine. Now we can solve this seven. Figure out the six and seven right here. Looking good. This has got to be your six. That's got to be your seven. That's got to be your six. And we got two left. So I'll always look in here first and go, okay, it looks like I need a three and a seven. And then I'll look at my peripheral. Seven's right there. So here's your seven and here's your three. You need to watch this other video if you want to avoid getting stuck in Sudokus like this. Thank you so much for watching.